Now this uh, question 95, it's a question of uh, the chapter current electricity. Here it reads that uh, A, B, C are voltmeters as it has been shown in the diagram you can see here. A, B, C are voltmeters of resistances R, 1.5 R and 3 R respectively. That means here the resistance of this thing will be R, resistance of B is 1.5 R that is given to you and resistance of C has been given to be 3 R. Right? as it has been shown in the diagram. Now when some potential difference is applied between x and y, this point x and this point y, if you will apply some potential difference, then naturally the currents will start flowing and the potential difference will be created. Now what is demanded is that the voltmeter readings are Va, Vb and Vc respectively. Then you have to choose from these options. Now try to see that these two resistors are connected in parallel. What is the equivalent of that? R1, R2 upon R1 plus R2 that is 1.5 into 3 upon 1.5 plus 3 that will become R, isn't it? Now you see that entire thing has a resistance R and this entire thing has a resistance R. So whatever current will flow, these two are connected in series and they have same resistance. So whatever will be the potential drop, same potential drop will be here. And since these two are connected in parallel, so whatever is the potential drop to the equivalent resistance, same will be the individual potential drop, isn't it? That means VA, VB and VC, all three will have same values of potential and for that matter the correct answer marked will be option 2 and that is the answer to question number 95. Now let us move ahead to question number 96. Now in this uh, question 96 which is the question of wave optics, here it is a mixing of the question of uh, interference and diffraction pattern. It says that in a double slit experiment that is Young's double slit experiment, the two slits are 1 millimeter apart and the screen is placed 1 meter away. A monochromatic light of wavelength 500 nanometer is used. What will be the width of each slit? for obtaining 10 maxima of double slit within the central maxima of single slit pattern. They are demanding that 10 slit, what is the width of each slit on uh, Young's double slit experiment that is lambda capital D upon small d, isn't it? So they want 10 fringes to be accommodated in the central maxima of the diffraction pattern. What is the width of the central maxima? That is 2 lambda capital D upon the size of the aperture and size of the aperture is the width of the slit they are writing. So in this particular question they want what is the value of this A. Lambda D, lambda D will be cancelled and here value of A will be simply 2 D by 10. Now what is D? D is the separation between the two slits that has been given to you 1 mm. So this is 2 into 1 mm and divided by 10. So that makes it 0 0.2 mm. Now you will have to look for the option 0 0.2 mm. I see that the option 2 is the most appropriate option. I will mark 0.2 mm that is option number 2 for the question number 96. Now let us move to question number 97. 